begin this recording. Now, just for your information, my computer ha. has died four times this morning. So <laughs> there is Ooh. every chance that during the session, I'm going to be like, boo. Um, and probably you'll still we be able use... to hear me for at least a little while until I have to reboot the machine. But just so you know, it's there's a 50-50 chance it's going to happen. Um, but we are now recording and everything does seem stable. So this is good. Um, now, <clears throat> as for a recap from last week's game, if I recall, you were making your way around a very large chamber full of mosaics and all sorts of different creatures, monsters, and elder iblex you've killed, slain, a number of manticores, mm -hmm. a tree blight, some twig blights. Um, and can't think of anything else offhand. We were uh, running, we, I think we were starting to head out, but then we well, came across the, a. The ceiling began to shake. Hmm. And dust began to come that's down right. through the roof. <clears throat> and then oh, oh yeah, that's in yes. the, out, of, boy. out of a hole in the chamber of the roof through the um, the dome began to crawl this enormous giant sized creature covered in warts and bumps and purple skin um, with a club slung over its shoulder on a strap. Um, and it grunts as it climbs down. You can see its enormous hands gripping the stone as it does, like a mountain climber upside down, climbing around. And then um, he drops from about maybe 100 feet or more and lands in the water right in the middle of the chamber, um, causing the room to shake and dust to rise. And the water kind of does a little dance across the surface for a moment. And then it settles. It then goes back quiet again, and this creature looks around. <laughs> um, are you guys hiding or anything like that? We, I thought we were because last time it came down and it hadn't seen us because it was busy like cleaning itself with hmm. magic water. That's right. That's what that's it looked right. like. So he's all he's making himself look a little better, but he still looks disgusting. That's right. And you, um, that was the point where you realized the water had some magical properties. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And I think mm. that's why we left had like, it like uh, shimmery that's, qualities. Yeah. And that's about where we left off. So um, <clears throat> that serves as our recap. Mm -hmm. Um, what do you guys like to do? Uh, just let's, look over at the others and we... Let's hide. Let's at least duck let's down. Let's get behind the pillars, right? Yeah. Mm. Okay, I mean, so there are pillars gonna, all around us, right? You're going to make stealth checks helping each other to have advantage? Certainly. Yeah. Certainly. Why not? Why wouldn't I not take advantage? To yep. No, stealth. Yeah. Yeah. And if you are wearing heavy metal, <laughs> then you, but, you have disadvantage, then you now have no disadvantage. Normal. Just, yeah. All what right. if she just drops them exactly where she is? <laughs> that was the same thing. Damn it. Uh, 19. Damn it, Tricky. Six. 14. Six was your total with advantage. No, no that was just my normal, because I don't get advantage, right? Oh, you're, mm. Right, you're, you're, uh, I see, right. Mm, okay, so Tricky, oh. six. Um, <clears throat> a moment passes after you guys find your way into your stealthy areas and you kind of go quiet again having made this movement and you can sense the giant creature sniffing the air you can see the air almost rough ruffling the leaves of the plants around you from his intake of breath you can hear him stepping and walking through the water below, splashing, and then stepping out. It's getting louder as it comes in your general direction. I'm going to heff a stone, try, like, distract it with, okay. the, with the noise from the other side. So you make a sleight of hand check then. Certainly. 20 flaccid well flaccid 20 all right um okay well 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 uh here we go the um creature looks around <laughs> and turns slowly in the direction of where the stone went um sniffs the air again um 
Shall we? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a break send for Hog. I'm gonna send Hogsmore to fly like not directly in front of him, just um, yeah. out of arms reach, and okay. just like go to the other side, just to like sort of like around him kind of thing. Yeah, right? so yeah. that he sees it. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> and then perch somewhere out of out of his reach. All right. He yeah. he sees Hogsmore and he turns and and swoops <laughs> at him for a second at her. Um, <laughs> begins to climb up onto the next level, which is approximately where you are over here. <gasps> oh man! <laughs> he throws himself up onto that level. Oh crap! Um, do you want to make stealth checks? Again? Yeah. Uh... 22. Great. 23. Four. So you say four. 24. 24. Okay. And tricky, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> the weak link. Got a solid 11. A solid 11. Okay. Um, very good. A solid 11. I'll go with that. He stands um, right up over you guys and you guys are kind of clustered around hiding in, in the trees and the branches and the rocks and, and, and the shrubbery and the plants and the mushrooms and shit hiding there trying to be very very still and he stands over the group for a minute <sighs> he peers I said around. Dingle I said Dingle to attack him <laughs> fly by him Dingle comes for yep. an attack All right, so well, he flies at- up into the air and then goes above him and then oh. 30 feet in attack, 30 feet out. All right, so you can make your attack. Everyone can roll initiative. Zoinks. We're delaying the inevitable. Yep. Tricky Bob smells giving her away. (laughs) 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 All right. So, uh, Gimbal, you're making a surprise attack. Well, thingy is. Thingy is. I'm still hiding. You're still hiding. All right, so he comes flying out. In what form is he right now? Bird form, right? He's a crow with a badger head. Crow with the badger <laughs> Badger markets. Uh, is, that, am that, I, is that true? Is he a crow with a badger that, head? That, that's how he was drawn. I like that. I like it that way. It's adorable. Is that how you want it? Yes. And that's how it's going to be. Uh, 14. 14 to hit. Uh, that's a hit. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'll be... Uh, I've got to open this up more. There we go. 1d4 plus 6. I should always remember that. Uh, 9 damage. 9 damage. Okay, 9 damage. So he takes 9 damage um, from Chromo that flies past. And he um, spins around looking to to see where Chromo is going to fly off to. I take it Chromo flies off in the opposite direction? No, Chromo flies above him. Above him, over him. Yeah. Okay. Thirty up. feet above it, above his head. Thirty feet up. Okay. So he's swinging his um, club in that direction. Josiah, it's actually your turn now. Uh, should we just go in, guys? Mm. All right. Use your use your quiet voice. <laughs> I'm gonna um, try and emerge uh, from the uh, the bushes and, and take a swing at him. All right. Roll to and, hit. Okay. Since I'm since I'm attacking from stealth, do I have advantage? You do have advantage. All right. All right. <clears throat> okay. Advantage roll. It's a fifteen. That's a hit. All right. I would also like to add my. I Sneak would like attack. to do a maneuver as well. A maneuver. Yep. A so, maneuver. All right. So so I'm gonna attempt to disarm him. Oh, wow. Okay. Using my disarming attack. Right, I'm so, going to give you disadvantage because he's so tall. And this I, is... So with it, essentially, I um, so hang on. When I hit with a weapon attack, so I've already hit. Yeah. So if if you want, I can re-roll that. Um, well, you hit with the weapon attack, certainly. Okay, how does it work? So when I hit with a weapon attack, you expend one superiority dice, add it to your damage, and and to disarm, they have to fail a strength saving throw of DC 14. Okay. So if you want, since he's so high up, maybe he gets advantage on the... Um... On the saving throw. That does yep. make sense. All right, sweet. So let me roll my damage. Okay. 
Okay, that's 11 on the damage and then on the sneak attack as well. Yeah. That's another 10, so that's 21. And then additional uh, 1d8. Uh, where's my d8? There it is. An additional 2. So that's 23 points of damage. Right. And now he has to... Make a strength um, save. Yep. Strength DC save DC 14. 14. Okay. He saves. Ah, rats. Um, and you did how much total damage? 20 something. 23. 23. Okay. Recorded. All right. Great. Is that the end of your turn, Josiah? Yeah. Um, and then I will... Oh, all right. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I will um, back up now. <laughs> from yeah. him. You're backing uh, up. I'm backing up. Is that a disengage? Um, no, because uh, as a swashbuckler, I have rakish audacity and I can uh, fence around him with fancy footwork. I see. So I'm just going to back out of what appears to be a good distance of him swinging me. So like right. 10, 15 feet. And this avoids you getting an opportunity attack against you, does yep. it? Okay. All right. So is that the end of your turn then? Uh, okay. Hank, you are next. Right. Um, so, oh, Hank Pants. He's, um, yeah. Oh, Hank Pants. Um, I think I'm going to try a color spray on him. Color spray. All right. Show us how oh, you know what? It only affects 6010, though. 6010 HP. Uh, I have a feeling it might. I don't know because I haven't read his stats because I wouldn't do that. But I have a feeling. Uh, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. I don't think that he has less than 60 hit points, so we're just not going to do that. <clears throat> um, instead, I'm going to draw my letter bar and give him the old stab in the ankle. Yeah. All right. Um, roll ahead. <clears throat> I will so roll race ahead. in there. Use yep. your movement to get up to him. Yep. Yeah, I don't think I'm that far away from him, to be honest. Anyway, no, that's, that's um, fair. You can have advantage on an attack um, because you're coming out of stealth, right? Yes. Yep. Um, and that will also give me a snick attack. Yeah. So, uh, snick attack. Sneak attack. Plus eight. So that is uh, 18 to hit. Hits. Excellente. 1d8 plus 5 plus... You find that his, um, his skin is quite tough and the calluses and scars give him a kind of armoured exterior, but not so thick that you can't get through it with Ludovar. Um, right. Slashes... Because Ludovar's a bit special anyway. Through the... Yeah. So what did you get for your damage there? Uh, I got... Uh, Six plus uh, measly one, so seven plus five is twelve. Twelve. That's twelve a, damage. Yeah. The amount of damage, not bad. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Thank you, Hank. That's is right. at the end of your turn? You got any other actions, bonus actions, movement? Uh, no. Reaction. Uh, I could. Um, I could use my bonus action to disengage. Mm -hmm. And then head behind maybe this pillar over um, here. Yeah. Yeah. They're too far away. It's a bit far. 30 feet. Yeah. These, these are definitely more than 30 feet. These these squares are 15 feet. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's 60. Okay. Yeah. No, nah, maybe not then. All right. Sweet. I'll, um, I'm going to move behind Tricky. Now, bear in mind, this <laughs> whole area, this whole area is stealthable. The whole area up till about ten feet is you can you can make stealth checks here. It's but it is um, keep in mind that it's difficult terrain. Okay, so right. oh, okay. Now, if it's you, difficult terrain, so we'll, we'll we'll let it slide for now because it's not not been really an issue. But here it's difficult terrain. Movement's going to be slower, but there is a lot of places for you to hide and make quick jumps sideways to take you know partial cover if you want to. I'd, I'd be keen for some partial cover because I used my bonus action to disengage, so I can't hide, but I'd like to, to move into cover okay. if I can somewhere. No worries, you can do that. If there's so a place nearby. you're in cover there, Hank. That's yeah. good. Okay, is that the end of your turn? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be in cover. All right. Uh, yes, that is the end of my turn. Tricky Bob. Um, just to check, our spell slots don't update, sorry, reset when we level up, right? 
And I'm afraid they do not, but you do gain new spell slots, so you will have you still will have more spell slots than you had when we stopped. Yeah. Okay. Um, I've got one. <laughs> <laughs> so this is uh, pretty bad. Um, I'll cast Toll the Dead on the, um, on giant, the giant man. All right, yeah. Toll the Dead, and it's a wisdom save for him. Is that not correct? Yep. Okay. Uh, he fails, I think. What's the DC? 13. 13. Yeah, he fails. Wee -hee. And he took damage already. Yep. Um, so he gets another 12. Another 12 points of damage. Mm. Oof. Okay, he's not very happy about that. Do you have any other actions, bonus actions, movement, flavor, dialogue? Um, no. I don't think I've got anything else. Very good. Who is currently um, in line of sight with the creature? Who can be seen by him and who Me. is? So, all right. So, Josiah, you are his target. I am in partial cover. You're in partial cover. Okay. Um, yeah, me possibly as well. I can't really. Yeah, I think I'm like in front of him. Me and Josiah. You and Josiah. Yeah, that's true. Okay. And Hank's back there. Gimbal, are you still hiding? Can't hear you. You're on mute. Yep. Sorry. Uh, birds attacked. I haven't. Birds attacked, but you're still hiding. Yet. Okay. Cool. Bananas. All right. He takes a swipe at Tricky Bob with his great club. Um, 17 to hit. No, it doesn't hit. Does not hit. Swoops past you. He uses the momentum to keep going towards Hank. Um, <laughs> Hank, you're taking partial cover, so you got plus two on your AC, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 24 to hit. Um, <laughs> it hits as long as I don't use shield, which I think I'm going to. You're going so to I still get spell slots. Okay. So you're going to react with the shield. Hang on. Yeah, which will boost my armor class to hang on what's 219 plus five is oh actually it only boosts it to 24 which is what, what he I hits rolled. right that would so he's I, I won't do that then because yeah it'll still hit all right okay all right here it comes uh this is bludgeoning damage 17 points of bludgeoning damage oh wow <laughs> that whole piece of cover is destroyed um and still alive Hank, uh, can you make an acrobatics check? Yeah. Uh, uh, that is 13. 13. Um, you 13. manage to catch on to some roots on the ground as you go tumbling through the wall here um, and almost go sliding down and taking falling damage into the next area. But you don't. You manage to catch yourself before you go through that wall. But the wall itself was just <laughs> exploded out from the club. Um, and it sent you into it. You've obviously quite hurt from that. Um, is that the end of his turn? Well, yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, although, no, 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 no. Josiah. Hello. Can you make a charisma 14 saving throw, please? Certainly. Yeah. Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. That is a success. Um, so you're going to take half of this. Oh. Take 16 points of psychic damage as the creature turns to you and you see it pulls this very odd face that looks very nasty. It's like, <laughs> and it gives you the evil eye. Um, and this causes psychic damage. My poor brain. <laughs> um right but you did save which is good okay uh yeah otherwise that would have been what 32 th yeah 33 points yeah, i rounded it down <laughs> <laughs> gimbal yeah all righty um uh, i'm gonna yeah. shout let's push it off the ledge and Sweet. i'm gonna cast zephyr strike on myself zephyr strike all right um and charge forward with my sword okay and start hacking a Let's hang on. Where's the map? So hang on. How far can I move? Uh, where's the count? There it is. All right. If I go. Uh, okay. I get there. Yeah. I mean, you get. You can. I mean, it's within three feet. I'm okay with it. You know, it's. You. You'd be right up to it. Okay. So you're on. You're on the monster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're attacking and, with your sword. Yep. Uh, what sort of sword is this? It's a short sword. Is it magical? Nah. 
Okay. Uh, 24 to hit. Yep. And a 14. 14 damage? No, the 14 to hit. Oh, 14 so to hit. Multi attack. Also, also a hit. Cool. Two hits. Okay. So then that'll be 7, 8. So 15 damage from the short sword and Zephyr Strike, Zephyr Strike, whatever, activates and does an extra 28. Did you say 28? No, an extra D8. Oh, so five D8. damage, five force damage from that. Okay, cool. Five force and damage. Mm, and that's me done. That's your turn. Okay, Josiah, it is your turn. Okay, I'm going to take Gimbal's advice. I'm going to try and push it. So I'm going to move over for it to this. Uh, where's my goddamn toggle? I'm going to move over to about here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to um, attack him and try and force him back. So first one. Josiah, um, because you and Hank... Uh... Well, no, you're not really flanking him. No, Gimbal, sorry. Gimbal's attacking him, though, right? Gimbal is attacking him, but you're not flanking him. Okay, you'd have to. That's all right. I'll, I'll just take opposite. take the uh, the standard. All right. Twenty three. Yeah, that's yep. a hit roll, is it? Yep. Okay. So eight normal damage. If he's um, oh, there's no one else around him. So yeah, as a as a swashbuckler, I get uh pretty much the automatic sneak attack, which is a fantastic trait. <laughs> plus another five plus five yep um and then i will use my bonus action to get a second wind okay and roll 1d10 plus three nine plus three which is good so another 12 back how did you get second win back? Didn't you use it last week? We had a short rest. We had a short rest. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Is that right, that's end... useful, actually. That's pretty yes. useful. End of your okay. turn? Or you've got another uh, No, that's that's everything I got for now. Um, huh? But yeah, shout out. Let, yeah, I agree with Gimbal. <laughs> <laughs> for once. Mm -hmm. Now that confuses everybody. Hank yeah, what, what did Gimbal say? Right. Well, Gimbal was said something about pushing him off the edge, didn't he? Hmm. Okay. Um, Hank's too busy. Well, going, I just about uh, got pushed off the edge. Yeah, uh, that, that almost happened to me. Um, what's what does he look like? What does he look like? Does he have um, like in terms of like how, his condition? See, um, um, he he looks bashed up. He's definitely bleeding and oozing from from wounds that you guys have inflicted upon him. Um, he, he still looks fairly fighting fit to be fair. Um, but that being said, you, you've heard him. He's not happy. He's, he's bleeding, okay. um, bleeding good at this juncture. Then I will cast color spray on him because uh, right. he will have taken a bit of damage. So let's see if he gets hit. Um, but I'm going to, I'm going to cast it second level. Okay. How many hit points? Because does it... I can uh, so it is 60, 10 for first level and an additional 2d10. So 8d10. Yeah. 8d10. Of his remaining hit points. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And it's, that's, so it's going to take, it's going to damage him for 8d10, is it? No, it's not damage. Um, it affects, it only affects that amount of, of creatures. Ah. It's like sleep. You know, I see. Um, so he has to have less. Basically, he has to have have less hit points than what I roll in right. order to be affected. And if he is, he's blinded. I'll tell you what. I'll make let you make a nature check or medicine check. Okay. Uh, we'll do a nature check. Eh? I'll, I'll I'll peep around from like my 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 the wall that I'm stuck in. There's yeah. a Hank shaped hole in the wall, yeah. <laughs> and I'll um. Ah, oh, that's four for Ooh. for nature. Four for, nature. Four for nature. Okay. Yeah. So I look at it and I'm like, hmm, this is a good idea. <clears throat> so I'm going to do it. All right. So color spray. Tell us about color spray. So color spray, I roll eight of these D10 that I have and, yep. you know, tally the, the remaining. And if he's, if he doesn't have that many hit points, yep. then he's blinded. Right. Uh, until the end of my next turn. 
Okay. Yeah. And it's in a cone. So if there were more people around, then obviously it would, they would get yeah. blinded too. Okay. But you're, you're going kind under of that maximum yeah. in that direction so that as to avoid hitting other people, I'm assuming, because it's a cone. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And also you can yeah, cone up for sure. at him at, at, at his face as yeah, well to avoid exactly. hitting others. I want to cone at his face. Okay. His stupid face. Well, the good news is it works. You aim it, it fires off, the color spray happens, and you have well, succeeded got a roll, though. pissing him off because uh, even with... I have to roll. Won't matter because you're not going to roll enough hit points. <laughs> oh, okay. Right, fair enough. <laughs> I'm sorry. Fair enough. No, that's okay. <laughs> Um, okay. I had Wait, that feeling part, when though, you made me, a... made, made me do the, the nature check. I thought, oh, oh. he's going to try and make it so I don't do this. But I think, I think Hank just wanted to roll that many times. I, I wanted to give I've you never... the chance like, to not use a spell slot and if you didn't need to. I, but... No, I know you did. I know you, you would... did, but I figured that when you asked me to do the nature check, I thought, no, I've already said I'm going to do that, so yeah. I'm do it. All right. Is that the That's end of your turn, Hank then? Hank, uh, turn? I believe so, yes. All right, Tricky Bob, it's your yeah. turn. Are you going to toll the dead? Uh, yeah, I any, can't. Can't because you don't have any spell slots. Nope, I've got one emergency one in case someone dies. And that's, emergency one, okay. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Right. So what I'll toll the dead. Toll the dead. Yep. Okay, so he's making a wisdom saving throw. Um, yep. He f rolls a 13. Is that a save? I'm pretty sure it is if it's on it the... Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's yeah. your toll the dead. Do you have any other actions, bonus actions, movement, dialogue, flavor... No, but I, I do yell out to Gimbal. Um, how will we meant to throw him off? Right. Very good. Um, Gimbal is now evading a club. Um, okay. Oh, but here's the news. Um, he rolls a natural one, huh. um, uh. which gives Gimbal a free opportunity attack. Ah, oh, rats. Okay. Um, I'll take a swing. All right. Uh, no, 11. Oh, no, 12 to hit. 12 misses. Okay. His second attack, um, he swings at Gimbal for a 16. I assume that misses, Gimbal. Misses. Okay. It's now your actual turn, Gimbal. Mm -hmm. um, okay. I've got a rope. Is there anything I could tie behind him along here? Hang on. Let me have a look. To uh, create along... a... Like a, to create a um, what are they called? Like a wire trap. Right. Right. So he's looking to sort of run a wire around. Just, um, just like a objects. straight, just like a rope straight from where like Hank is through to here. Right. And then, and tighten it so that if we push him and give him enough force from this side, he'll fall back and hopefully lose his footing and fall off the, the edge. Hmm. Um, you can make a, what would this be? I mean, I was thinking survival initially, but um, let's see. Gimbal, what would this be? I'm thinking it's really an athletics check, to be honest. Yeah. All right. Let's try it. Uh, 17. 17. Okay. Well, you get the rope where you want it. Ha! Cool. All right. And I, well, yeah, and in response to Tricky Bob's words, I was just saying, we push. Okay. So I'll probably be like over here by that point. All right. And is that, that's your actions? For um, that's my action. I'll get, um, I'll have uh, Dingle fly yeah. over onto this side and okay. start like trying to swoop into him from Josiah's side. Okay. All right. Make an attack for, uh, mm -hmm. uh 22. Hits. Uh, eight damage. Eight damage. All right. <clears throat> Very good. Is that the end of your turn, Gimbal? Yes. Yes. Josiah. Josiah, it is your turn. You are on mute. I am on mute. I am going to use... Um my command is strike so when i take the attack action on my turn i forgo one of my attacks and use a bonus action to direct my ally to attack in my place all right so i'm going to call out to tricky bob i assume i still roll the attack because it says i have to take the attack action okay um but tricky bob's making an attack yep i mm -hmm. think she gets to roll the attack okay so then i forgo my action and i scream out to tricky bob use your warhammer and break its ankle 
Okay. Yeah. And so then you take a, a reaction and you can strike and you get to add my superiority die, which is 1d8 to the attack if it succeeds. To okay. the attack roll? To the damage roll. To the damage roll. Oh, well, I rolled a seven. Seven Sorry. to hit? Yep. Oh, Damn. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Damn tricky Bob. Damn All right. tricky Bob. Damn so you. then in its place. <laughs> yep. All right. Uh, I am going to use my action surge. Okay. And then I am going to attack its other ankle. <laughs> All right. Uh, boom. For 13. 13 to hit. Yep. Uh, does not hit. Oh, rats. Yeah. Any, anything else, Josiah? No, because that was my bonus action telling Tricky Bob to do that, essentially. <laughs> All right. That's Hank, it. it's your turn. There you go. So, Hank's becoming a little a little disillusioned by his failing spells. Um, so he's got a lead of iron in his hand. <coughs> but also, he's 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 had a thought. Russell, mm -hmm. did we see? Did we see and make the connection when the giant came into the pool and had all his wounds healed and that? Yeah. Did we make that connection? Did we see that that he got healed? Yeah, that was the point of that description. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yep. Sweet. Uh, and just so as I'm a reminder, pull out to, to... yeah. As a reminder, if you've you, forgotten, by something. the way, he he looks a bit like this. Yucky. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. Gross, he looks gross as. Right. Yeah. Cool. So I'm going to call out to Gimbal. Gimbal, if we we push him off the thing, he might roll into the pool. But then I'm going to attack his ankle as well. I'm going All to right. move. Um, hang on, I'll just make sure I can actually move that far. Because it's difficult terrain as well, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I can't really. All right, well, I'll attack the ankle that's closest to me then. Mm -hmm. um, with uh, Ledevar. Mm -hmm. And I'm assuming I'm going to get sneak attack and all of that yep. jazz. Yeah. Yeah, sweet. All right. So plus eight to hit. So that is. Uh, actually, I won't roll with this. But I, I just roll normal, eh? Not, not advantage. Um, you are currently, let me see. Uh, you don't have a proper flank at this point. So, yeah, it's normal. That's fine. Um, it's 23 to hit anyway. 23 to hit? Okay, that hits, definitely. You're down. All right. I just wanted to see if I'd get maybe critical, but never mind. <laughs> uh, and 28, 2d6, plus 5. So, 10. 13, 18 damage 18 to that ankle. Wow. Yeah. Okay. It's very upset. <laughs> um, and... and I'd like to try and find another source of cover if I can. Okay. So you're going to make a roll of stealth check, please? Yeah, please. Yep. That'd be nice. Uh, that is 13. Okay. Um, you feel like you're in cover. Thanks. <laughs> Tricky Bob. All right. Um, do I see that um, Gimbal essentially is trying to pull the giant off? Yeah, I think you've got a sense of what Gimbal well, I'm not up. trying to pull him off. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're trying to do, to be honest. You can see that he's got a rope and it's got something to do with his ankles and it must probably have to do with tripping the giant over, you're assuming. Right. I think okay. that's fair to, to assume. Can I move over to where the rope is and help him do the... Um, Not the... that far. You, you oh. sort of find that the distance is much further than oh, you think right. it is. right. Okay, let me see. Actually, how did I hit him with my Warhammer then? Great question. Throw it. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, yes, on that basis, Tricky Bob, you did hit him with a Warhammer, so let's put you up here. Okay. Um, yeah, I think the commanding which... strike has to be someone like next to you. Ah, okay. All right. I'll remember that for next time. Um, so am I able to move? Wait, is this? You can move into attack him. If you want to move through his legs, you can make an acrobatics check. Acrobatics. If you want to like dive through his legs out the other no. side. To... So I can't get to the rope any other way. Um, not, you don't have enough distance in, in, in one turn. Okay. Unless, unless you make the acrobatics check, which is a no. bit risky. 
Yeah. Um, which is the way I can move around him to get closer? Uh, which side do you want to be on? Where do you want to end up? It's probably this ping, side. Ping where you want to be. Sorry. I keep moving myself instead. Yeah, somewhere. So if I move around this way and then get there behind him afterwards. Yeah. So if I move like ah, here. Yeah. Um, it's too close to his feet. Yeah, you can move to there. I mean, it's definitely putting you in the range of being stomped on, but yes. Okay, maybe not. Let's move here where Desire is. Okay. Um, okay, and with that, I'll try to hold the dead again. All right, so another wisdom save from yeah. our friendly giant. He rolls a natural one. You can do Wee double damage to your dice. Do I roll four times, or do I roll just my usual twice and then double it? Is there a right click roll, on it where you can you do roll, critical? Yeah, there should always be a right dice click. damage. It's always extra dice. Crit, but um, because it automatically rolls on two d eight, but I should be doing two d twelve. Really? Huh? Well, because um, toll the dead is if it's already been hit, I do two d twelve. And it doesn't have an option for that. No, it only does two d eight. It's my normal roll automatically. So you, so you can roll the d twelve using the the dice roller. Yeah, I normally do the dice roll instead. Right. So you yeah, should roll no way... four, four d twelve. Holy okay. shit! Give me four twelves. Right. <laughs> <clears throat> you roll. Oh, only eighteen. That was yeah. pretty bad. Only <laughs> eighteen damage. Only eighteen from a crit. Well, I thought I thought it would be a lot good. higher. <laughs> Could have been. Could yeah, have been. Yeah, there was two twos in there. Do you have any other actions, bonus actions, movement, dialogue? I already did my movement, so yeah. no. No, okay, it's all over then. Our good friend comes <laughs> uh, swiping. It's all over. Strikes at Josiah. Hello. Uh, uh, he misses Josiah. Thank God. 12 to hit is a miss. Um, he comes at who else is nearby him? Oh, Gimbal. Gimbal, oh. my friend. He swipes at you, Gimbal, with his great club. Um, also misses. Very good. It's Gimbal's turn. Alrighty. Um, in response to Hanks, I just, I just scream. We just have to kill him harder than the water. And um, and then I, <laughs> can I start? Can I start? Can I try to climb him? Climb his back or his front? Like this yeah. Is, right. This is going to be a acrobatics check. Yes. Twenty on that. Dirty twenty. The dirty 20. All right. You climb up onto him. This gives you advantage for any attack that you might make from yep. here. I'll try. I'll just start. Yeah. Both hands on my shorts and just start trying to jab right. into him. Roll the hit. Uh, all right. The first one, 22. That's a hit. And the second one, uh, 24. Cool. Damn. Two hits. That'll be. Yeah, but the damage is never that great. Mm. Um, so 16 and then Dingle. All right. Dingle. Uh, hits. Dingle hits with a 19, oh. yeah. Nine. Right, nine damage. Nine damage. Okay, very good. End of your turn, Gimbal. Yep. Yeah? All right, Josiah. All right, um, I'm going to keep going with the ankle uh, ankle attack. Try, to, try <coughs> okay. to throw him off balance. Um, if Gimbal's on top of him, can we uh, can we say that's flanking now? Yeah, right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Push it. Push that luck. Oh, two nineteens. Damn. Uh, twenty six. Right. Twenty six is a definite smacking hit. Okay, so that's. 13 on the normal attack with sneak attack coming in at uh, another 11, so 24. All right, stop right there, Josiah. Right. What happens? He, um, have you ever seen Pet Symmetry? Yes. Where the, uh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah, where, where he slices uh, the old man's ankle with a, with a knife? Ooh. Yeah, Is this just, just like that? You know, like the um, the ACL under under heaps of tension. So you're saying he just it. slips <laughs> over and bashes his head on the on the rocks as he falls. Yeah, and dashes himself to death on the stones below. Damn. Um, and right. you have him kind of hunched over the wall, hanging, slumped over the wall. 
Um, let's, let's be even even more clear about this. Uh, where's the thingy? There it is. I hope that's not like Unglamour's son or something. Oh, it's too <laughs> ugly. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. How many how many giant children do you know? Sons, daughters. As he lays lays there bleeding out, you notice that the deformities begin to lessen, and he becomes more mm. and more um, like a normal giant. Um, mm. Almost, almost beautiful, in fact. And uh, blood, is, blood is all he's drained. been cursed. All right, so I'll, I'll look at the others. Do we want to heal him? Can uh, we? A drag him in the pool. Can we? Can we tie him up first? I don't yeah, think tying him up is going to do anything. Um, I see. He, 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 yeah, he looks Wait, dead. How big is he? No, we can't drag that. Never mind. You, you can. You, you don't think you could drag him? A and B. He looks very dead. His his, his... his brain is seeping out. Yeah, his uh, his his ankle is crushed I, beyond. Repair. I don't think these things rely that much on their brains. <laughs> it's probably fine. No, fine. Okay. Um. Hmm. I loot him. <laughs> we head, head downstairs. Yeah. Um, we'll take. Let's take the rope. Shall all we? right. What you find on him is well, there's the great club that he was mm -hmm. carrying, which is way too, too big. big for any of you guys to lift or use. Um, there is a pouch um, on him, um, which has some strips of very hard meat. Um, each yeah. strip is like the size of a person. Um, you you might be able to figure out that it's horse meat, but um, you don't know. No, I, yeah, I think I'd know. You might be able to figure it out from the smell yeah. and texture. Um, what else? <laughs> Money head out of the bag. He's got a... hey, it's horse meat, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> he has a few baubles of stone that are probably not worth anything much to anyone. They're just kind of pretty. Um. Can we see up where he came from? Yeah, you can see up into what is essentially a big domed ceiling um, with a lot of cracks and plants growing out of those cracks and light sunlight streaming through the cracks in places um, from above. Okay. Um, Let's investigate that water. The, yeah, weren't there yeah, lots of... The water. Hang, hang on, hang on. Weren't there lots of... Didn't, didn't the Hogsmoor find lots of tree monsters all around the water? And for mm. us not to go no. in the water. He was no, it wasn't water. around the water. What? Where was and, it? And Hogsmore didn't find the tree blights around the water. She found the tree blights around the edge of the um the the top the floor. Core, the edges of the yeah the walls. Right. Yeah, the mosaics. On the yeah. second floor. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well yeah. let's 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 have a look at it. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Uh, get another <laughs> one of these. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not doing it so hot. You know. Um, mm. Do we? Do we have any healing potions? I forgot that we sometimes have those. I don't think so. Very uh, simple of mine. I've, we've got antidotes, but that's pretty much it. We've got um, poison. Yeah. And jerky. Uh, that's not gonna do much for me though. Unfortunately, they're tricky. Uh, well, you can jump in the water, uh, yeah. and we'll we'll guard you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, well, no, I'll give it well, a go. Hang on. What, what does the water look like? I mean, Barkley. It's it's water. It, it's I mean, it's it's clear. Is it fizzy? It's not fizzy. Like sparkling water? No. Okay. No, it's not. It's not effervescent sparkling water. Mm -hmm. Um, it's. Well, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna head towards it. Well, well hang on there, old uh, <laughs> old Hank. It's just. There's a, there's a possibility, you know, that this was causing the giant to have these horrific wounds. Mm, he seemed cursed, and he came out of this water. So, thank God I don't see it out. This could be great. I think. I think, gonna, that big. I think I'm going to go with Gimbal's suggestion. To be mm -hmm. honest, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm like I'm like bleeding, like pretty heavily. I, I've um, got one last healing slot, so I yeah, can. Yeah, um... but we've already we've already had a short rest. Um. I think I've used up most of my hit die. Oh, I've got actually. I do have two hit die left. 
you do get gonna cursed, if you do get cursed, I'm Jackie Bob can probably kill you. Or well, you know, Maradon. Mm. Mm. So I'm gonna I'm gonna slowly start walking towards the water, just not going into the water yet, but I'm having I'm gonna scope it out from this edge here next to Gimbal. Okay. So you can make a perception yeah. check if you want. I uh, I'll make a perception check, please. Mm. Perception is three, as it always has been. <laughs> uh, uh, that is 15. 15. Um, okay, so yeah. looking at the water, um, you notice that there are actually some creatures in the water, little creatures floating yeah. around, swimming, darting about. Um, and some of them seem to be very colorful, in fact. Um, not quite like tropical fish colorful, but... Um, you notice like an eel zipping around in the water um, and it, it looks like it's it's very energetic oh, it's yeah. not like sparkly like a uh, rainbow trout or anything it's just very shiny active active mm. um okay. and 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 healthy looking mm. uh, healthy looking okay. do i have a fishing rod um I start rummaging through my bag. You do not have a fishing. Oh, you mean you might have one uh, in a bag yeah, of um, holding. If if you've brought one, it might be in a bag of holding if there was Gimbal and Hank did go fishing at one point. Yeah, yeah. we did go fishing. Yeah, but yeah, they we all did pretty well actually. I'll tell you what, um yeah. Hank or one of you guys roll a D ten. A ten it tells us that anything between seven and ten is that you do have a fishing rod. Okay. So... Seven. Okay, so Gimbal has a fishing rod. Hank I back. have do you a have collapsible a fishing rod. I have a six. I rolled six. You do not have a fishing rod. But right. um, and I don't know about it being a collapsible fishing rod. <laughs> but there's a fishing rod and it's in the bag of holding. And yep. An ugly stick, perhaps. Do we have much time for fishing? Uh, uh well, I tell you what, you, you I mean you do what you want, Kimball, but I, I'm gonna get close I'm gonna get closer to the water and I'm just gonna dip my hand in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Right, so and you, I'm gonna I'm gonna dip your hand in it. That is now a done thing. Dip. Yep. All right. Can you make a constitution yep. saving throw? Okay. All right. From to stop you from feeling too good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a natural one. A natural, for a total of three. For a total of three. One. Um, all right then. Um you do not feel anything particularly. As you put your hand into the okay. water, it feels like water. It's just cold. It's, you know. Okay. Yeah. Can I, uh, I would like to take this hand that has this wetness on it and place it on one of my wounds and see what happens. Okay. Um, Nothing. You pour it onto the wound and yeah. it heals you for three hit points. Oh. Hey. All right. Cool. Um, sweet. Look over, I'd look like over. to do that. Good. Now stick your toe in. Just jump in. Okay. <laughs> I'm not jumping in. But yeah, I'd like to just like cup water and, you know, give myself a little... Um, a splashing little... water on yourself? Spl splashing shower, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is great. Um, I'm you're... loving it. You, you can gain a total of 3d6 hit points. Okay. And um, that's all you can gain from this fountain, from this water. But Okay. Is there anything is it just a is it just a lake in some is it just water around some ruins or is it like, it's there is a like it there, it was an actual pond at some point okay right. and there's no little there's no little huts or any well Nothing giant like huts that. i guess it's just yeah just no. a pond yeah it's 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 a pond with a bunch of rubble that has fallen from the ceiling okay mm. cool oh, yeah okay what did you get back, Hank? Um, I did pretty well, actually. I'm now on 26 hit points. Great. Uh, I got 11 hit points back. Well, yeah. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. not bad. Not bad. But, so that was that was, that was was worth it for me. Yeah. Um, don't know about the unintended consequences, but we'll, we'll see about that. So, look, here's the mechanics. You guys can gain 3d6 hit points from the pool per day. All right. Ah. Let's, uh, let's take a splash and 3d6. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm going. Can I? What have, yeah. I'm going to tip out my water bottle and put put. Yeah, fill it up. 
All right. Which means you will be able to Number use nine. it as a potion once in the future yes. for 3d6. Oh, me too. Can I, do I have like a, a, a sheep's kind of what, yeah, what do you call them? Well, you've got oh, I'll probably do that too. Potions, yeah. You can fill yeah. up your potions mm. with these. Add them to the document, right. guys. I make no document. Who's, who's adding? <laughs> Potions okay. back on the menu, boy. <laughs> um, how many can we get? Uh, I think that given that uh, you have only so many bottles between you, maybe mm. one each is, is reasonable. One each. One um, each. All right, sweet as. Um, potion. 3D6. Potion of healing, potion. just a regular one. <laughs> it's not actually well, it's a regular just... one. It's a made up one that Russell made up just now. Magic water. Six, yeah. Magic what? water. <laughs> what? what, what just remember, remember. <laughs> just remember, 3D, just remember yeah. don't put it down. Just say, we've each got a bottle. Put it. A 3D6 of water. Put it in yeah. the, um, and, uh, put, put it in the Pro Scan and fold it. Yeah. yeah. On the document. 3D6. Yeah. Let's see. Maybe so there's she's one. Still looking, she's still looking for potions. AG4. She's not, she's <laughs> there is not. <laughs> you can make no. one yourself or you could just add it to the thing. How do I make one? But, oh. <laughs> no. No, let's not <laughs> go down. Item. Feel free to do that between sessions. Yeah. <laughs> or can... forfeit half your turns. Oh, I don't shit. even know how to add the I don't even know how to send you the bow that I created. Yeah, you can actually do it somehow. Um, we should figure that out. Mm. But we'll do it later. We'll figure it out. Let me sessions. type. Okay. Um, let's have perception checks from everyone. All right. Huh? Perception. Uh, that is a whopping 14 from Hank. 14 from Hank. 19 from Hank. 19 Spankos. From oh, wow. Is that 3D6? Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Yes, it is. But but not 3d6 for your perception check. Yes, po potion of magic. What, wait, where's my... Oh. Yes, I made it. <laughs> perception. Wow. Made to... perception. So you figured out how to make a custom potion? Uh, and... Just custom item. Okay. It just, it's just oh, called potion yeah. of magic water, and it just has 3d6 in the notes, and it's got no weight and no cost. Nice. nice. Uh, great. Okay, so you rolled a six for your perception. Josiah's yeah. a nineteen. Gimbal's a oh, thirteen. Yeah, I've just. Yep. Okay, I've seen it too. That's Hank, awesome. Have you got a um, perception check? Uh, fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, Hank 14. and Josiah. Mm -hmm. Um, you notice something. Gimbal, you notice them noticing something. Tricky Bob, you're away with the fairies, thinking about the water and the potion that you're filling <laughs> up in the bottle right now. Um, so that's what about you're thinking about. What was it? 3d6. 3d6. And 3D6. in any case, Josiah and Gimbal um, and Hank, you notice for a moment the light that is being cast through these god rays that are coming down through into the chamber, um, filling up, you know, striking all the particles that are in the air, causing these very um, effective looking streams of light. Um, they cut out momentarily as something goes over something very big seems to go over um and it, it almost feels like it whatever it is is quite long or quite big because it it, it casts a, a shadow through the through the holes um and it sort of stops and starts and stops and starts and then it finally stops and then the, the light returns and you hear in the mm. distance the sound of a horn uh, what are you guys looking at? Something else uh, that's coming to kill us, I think. Oh, good. Let's uh, run. How many things are in this place? Time to run. Place? Time to run. Let's run. Let's run. Let's run. Run, 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 run. Yeah, let's, let's get out of I'm here. I'm hacking up my stuff. Go. Uh, should, we, should we go and go and find Unglamore? Yep. Go go back to Unglamore. Talk to or... Father Delega. I mean, Lady <laughs> Iolantha. Um, yep, that's right. Drink some more yep. water. Put it. Dunk someone dunked your size head in the water. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Speaking of dunking heads in the water, Gimbal, have you drunk any of this water? No. no. I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling fine. <laughs> okay. I just tapped out spell wise, but health wise, I'm, yeah, pit is a fiddle. All right. All right. We're getting out of here. We're getting out of here yeah, fast. We're getting so. out of here quiet. Fast. Run. All right. Uh, let's go. And I start running. Yeah, okay, so you guys are running back to Unglamore, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, show me your path, please. Okay, I imagine we go up the stairs. So yeah, uh, I just go straight up the stairs there. like that. Uh huh. 
Oh, oh wait, yeah. the stairs up the other way. Of probably course. This, this way? Yeah, yeah. Down and then the stairs, probably like I'll get about there and start angling it that way. Yeah, okay, yeah. So that's much smarter. All right. So like um, there, can I get and then the uh, athletics checks from everybody? Mm-hmm. Yep. Nine. Uh, Nineteen. Uh, Dang. Two. We. Hank is fat, remember. Yeah. <laughs> I think he lost Hank, some weight. Hank is fat. A little bit, but it doesn't uh, mean yeah, he's athletic lost now. a little bit of weight. But... The magic will put it back yeah. on. <laughs> You're true <fall. laughs> Okay, so these uh, checks, let me double check. Double check the checks. Check the checks. Uh, uh, um... Tricky Bob was a 12. Yep. Josiah was a 19. Gimbal is a 9. Mm. Um, Hank, Better. what did you say? Was a 6, did you say? 2. 2. 2. two. Hank, Hank, you fall over. Um, oh, and man. as you're running, you slip over. And um, I'm not doing well. Hank, can you make a strength check, please? Oh, shit. Not another one. All right. Uh, Hang on. I'm pretty sure I'm negative one for strength. Strength check. Check, check, check. Uh, yep, nine. Nine. Okay. Um, you are mm. restrained. Ah. Um, gimbal, what did, what did you roll again? Was a... Uh, oh, hang on. Eight Sorry, or something, a nine? A uh, nine. Okay, can you make a strength check, please? Mm-hmm. Just a flat check or a saving throw? A saving throw. Nine. Okay, you are also restrained. Oh, was, was mine meant to be a saving throw or a check? Uh, if it was a saving throw, I actually got 10. If it, if it was a saving throw, what would you have gotten? 10. 10. Still, Don't suppose it really matters, to be honest. But, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, can I get initiative? From everyone? From everyone. everyone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 10. natural 20. Yes, nice. Damn, 14. Eight. Oh wait, I was doing it. Shit, I forgot to do it in there, so I'll do it in there instead. Fourteen. Oh, I can't. I can't actually read that. Fourteen. 14 it says. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. It so I've got it. Is. All right. So uh, gimbal, you realize at that point that there is a tree blight that has moved out <laughs> from the wall as you've been running past and through this area, and it has whipped out like a rope-like tentacle. In your direction, one has caught Hank, one has caught you. All right. And you're both restrained at this point. Um, it is your turn, Gimbal. Okay. Shut I don't have time for your tree, man. And um, I'll take a swing at the yeah the roots that are attached to me. All right. Roll to hit. And what was your strength check? Oh, you failed that. Yeah. You yeah, did. I got a nine as well. So twelve to hit. All right. Twelve to hit. Uh, that. Does not hit. All right. Second attack. Ugh. Eight. Eight does not hit. All right. I'll send Birdie over to help Hank. All right. That's going to attack the vines. Hank. So, Hank, you can get a strength check with advantage on this next turn. Um, After you. On my turn. At the end of your turn. At the end of of my turn. turn. Yeah. So, you can do whatever you want to do. And then, and during that, you are restrained, but then you can make a check to unrestrain. Oh, okay. good. So I can do the check now. Woo. You can. You can. Get uh, <coughs> yay. Crit. Crit. Okay, Gimbal, you've unrestrained yourself. So on your next turn, you'll be unrestrained. Cool. Hank, you're still restrained until you make that check. And after you've done your other actions, what are your actions going to be this turn? Uh, this turn, I'm going to attack the vine that's right. attached itself to me with Lediva. All right. You attack um, it. Roll the hit. And that is, I'm guessing it's going to hit with a 26. That definitely hits. Cool. Um, and I will do 1d8 of damage. 1d8 plus 5, actually. So that's 9 damage to the vine nine that's attacking damage. me. That's right. got me restrained. Very and good. Then I suppose I should also roll a strength check with advantage. Yeah. Because that's the um, end of my turn. With your really with your else. attack, you sever the vine and it and it withdraws. 
so you don't okay. need to make your strength check. In fact, um, cool. Uh, well, in that case, oh no, because that's the end of. Oh, I'd still be able to move then, eh? Uh, yeah, you still got movement now because you've cut yeah, the rope. Yeah, cool. So okay. I'll um I'll use my bonus action to disengage and use the um yeah the total thirty feet of movement I have to get away from this sucker and head towards the stairs. Still heading for the stairs. Okay. Um, yeah. <clears throat> All right, and as you go to do that, it swoops out at you again with another branch. Ah, uh, uh, jerk. 28 to hit. Um, yeah, that hits. You take eight points of damage from that. All right. And now you will make another uh, strength check. A saving strength throw. Check. Make it a saving throw. Okay, sweet. So that's uh, 10. <laughs> okay, you're once okay. again grappled. Ah. Um, the... Da, 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 da. All right, and... Gimbal, you went towards the creature, didn't you? No, I'm tied up. I, uh, tied and, up? I was just, and I just stood that's there and started right. trying to hack away and get out of it. Right, and so he I comes at the... you with a branch to smack you with a branch. Gimbal, uh, 20 to hit? Uh, no... Almost not, 21. Okay. Nearly smashes you. Um, Desire, it is your turn. Okay, I'm going to dash over to Hank and I will make an attack at the thing restraining him. Right. Uh, that's a 21 to hit. 21 to hit. Um, that's a hit. That's a 11 points of damage. Um, Single Imagine. single creature, so uh, I guess I can get away with another sneak attack on this one. Yeah, right. Yeah, all right. I just Smart non-stop. Yeah. Uh, and another eight on top of that, so that's... Uh, bah, 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 bah. So uh, 19. 19 damage altogether? Yep, 19 altogether. All right, very good. Thank you. Is that the end of your turn? Yep. Tricky, babe. Um, can I run up to... Who's still restrained? Is it both Gimbal and Hank? I'm free. Oh, so just Hank? I think so. Uh, yeah. Can I run up to Hank and help to get him out of the restraints? You can give him the help action um, so that during his check at the end of his next turn, he has advantage. Okay. Can I still um, attack could, or is could, that my... Alternatively, you could attack the root that is holding him and if you do a certain amount of damage to it, you will break it. Is there any chance I might hit him instead? No. In that while, if you roll a one, there's a chance. <laughs> Um, Worth it. Okay, fine. Well, what is it? What's what's the um check? Um, so you're to, to making an attack. Oh, roll. it's just normal attack. Yeah, okay. Attack roll, yeah. You've never made one, have you? <laughs> Ooh, yeah, ten. You <laughs> demand this cheat ten, last round. <laughs> ten to ten hit. sadly does not hit. Do you have any other actions, bonus actions, movement, flavor, dialogue? No. Can I still do a help on his turn? Yep. Or is that okay? Cool. Yep. That's not that's all I got. Okay, uh, Gimbal, your turn. Um, okay, how far away is... So Hank's further ahead than me, right? Uh, or is... What, yeah, what's the guys, order here? Like you guys there. Okay, hang on. Oh, I, 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 I technically couldn't have moved. Tricky, but okay. where were you anyway when you... St- when when this all went down, you went. You were running for the door. Was we that were right? all running for the door. Yeah, so okay, probably be somewhere so in in the down. down. Well, you'd be down here somewhere. Yeah. Dwarves are natural yeah. sprinters. I think she did yes. better than the rest of us. <laughs> Hogsmore. Um, I don't know where you are, but I'm going to put you here for now. All right. So this is kind of the setup. We yeah. good with okay. that. Uh yes. Um, so Hank's restrained right now. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yep. 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 Okay, and there's tree monsters there. And Josiah, did you just try to hit it, or you were fighting it then? Yeah, I attacked the uh, the branch that was holding uh, Hank. Hank. Yep. Okay. All righty. I'll cast so my in. last Zephyr strike. Let's put you there. So, I'll for this turn, I mm-hmm. my walking speed increases by another thirty feet, so I've got sixty five. All right. And I'm gonna, I guess, yeah, I'll run. Around behind him, mm-hmm. so that that gives the side gets all of his biz. Right, and flanking uh, is happening. Like, Everybody has advantage on their attacks now. Nice, and I'll all right attack. 
And advantage of 22 to hit. That hits. And that'll be five plus ugh, two, seven damage, seven two of damage. its force. All and right. then my other attack. Yep. Is 19 to hit. hit. Yep. <clears throat> and eight. And eight damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. End of your turn then, Gimbal. Is that right? Yes. yes. What about... Uh, no, because I, I use my bow action to cast the spell. So right. That's Hank, it. your turn. All right. I'm still grappled by this <clears throat> You jerk. are. You are. But uh, at the end of your turn, you will get a strength check with a uh, strength save with advantage. All right. <clears> well, <throat> in that case, I'm sick of this jerk. I'm not going <laughs> to attack the, the branch that's holding me. I'm instead going to attack the jerk himself. <laughs> um, so I draw my letter and I swing at him. All right, roll to hit. Can I get advantage and sneak attack and all of that? Um, because hold he's on a second. Uh, he you're is, grappled, though. Because What's you're that? grappled, you're a little bit out of his range with to, to make a hand, okay. hand attack. You could attack the, the, the branch okay. that's holding you. You can attack the root that's holding you. Um, mm. pew, pew. I kind of want to get him. He's, he's, he's kind of pissed me off. So Make a ranged attack. Let's, yeah, I can make a ranged attack. Or I could throw an ice knife at him. These are Which your would be decisions. funny. Yes, they are. Um, <laughs> each creature within five feet. Who's within five feet of it? Uh, Everyone else. Yeah, gimbal. You are. You guys are striking him. him. Okay. Yeah. In mind. Uh, I won't do that then. Uh, yeah, I'll make a. I'll make a ranged attack with. Uh, short. With bow. my with my bow. Okay. Yeah, with my short bow. So you pull right. your short bow. You knock an arrow and begin firing. Do roll to hit. And oh man, eleven to <clears> hit does not hit. All right, that's it's, it then. That's the oh end. wait, I gotta do my uh, strength save. Yep, strength save with advantage. And I'll do my strength save with advantage. All right, uh, it's not bad. Okay, so that is seventeen. You break it out of the thing. You snap the vine. Excellent. With the assistance Jerk. of Tricky Bob. So at the end of your turn. All right. That is the end of your turn because it was that the is the end of my turn. After you, okay. that's right. Correct. All right. Branch comes swinging back in your direction, um, Hank. Uh, <sighs> Twenty-one to hit. Uh, I use my shield, um, which brings me to twenty-two. So I use okay. my last level one spell slot. All right, that shield. Uh, so you just, the branch comes in and. <gasps> All this electricity arcs off it as it bounces off the magical shield around yeah. you. Um, and for a Get moment, fun. only only when the shield makes contact is it visible for a moment and disappears again. Right. Um, so that's your reaction oh, cool. against his first attack. That is a reaction against, yep, that's right. Pissing him off now. Um, yep. How long does that shield last just for that one attack? Is that right? No, no, for until uh, my next turn, I believe, or until... Mm -hmm. Hang on, I'll see if it's until my next turn or the end of my next turn. That doesn't really matter, I suppose. In any case, he's attacking uh, yeah, you until again. The no, until the start of your next turn. Yep. All right. He okay. strikes at you again, Let's and again the shield <laughs> bounces the, the leaves and branches ah. off him, off you. Suck um, on that. Causing him to do nothing. Um, at that point. Excellent. Yep. Josiah, it is your turn. Um, so with a tree blight, would you say that they're attacking us just with their... Um, like fists, essentially. Why do you ask? Well, if I was to attempt a disarming strike, would I literally take his arm off? Mm, I don't think so. Uh, I don't think. I don't think that the, arm. What about the forearm? Weapon. They have That's natural weapons. Weapon. All right, all right. They cannot be disarmed as natural. Then, then, I can't, I can't, like a, you find I can't his arm off. I cut his arm off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, literally uh, disarmed. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Um, then I will just go in uh, into the fray still with uh, me and Gimbal. So Gimbal's behind him. Mm -hmm. Should get advantage on the attack. Yep. Uh, roll. Ba 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 ba. I get a 20 flaccid. Hits. Yeah, yeah. That's a 12 natural damage. And then another 10 on top of that. All right. So, yeah, I'm, I'm getting some good base damage now. I'm feeling, yeah, you, I'm feeling, 
you're stripping bark off the tree yeah. at this point and just ripping it to shreds um it's still got a way to go but um definitely you can hear the tree blight shrieking as you're attacking it like that and it's really stripping yeah. off its flesh it's like making cinnamon it does not like this <laughs> yeah um do you have any more actions bonus actions movement flavor uh, uh, da, 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 da. no i think that's everything i'm gonna do for now all right tricky bob it is your turn okay so everyone's out um i'll tell the data i guess i knew you were gonna say that so oh, he's making a wisdom save yep. against Toll the Dead. Mm -hmm. He rolls a natural five. Wee and he already's been hit. Definitely so... been hit. So you come out. 12 plus whatever. One is two 16. 16. Yep. 16 damage. Okay. And with that, um, you shake off some more branches and, and, and bark comes flying off and this really now is reduced in size significantly as mm. the amount of foliage that this creature has as armor is now very, very reduced and it almost sort of stops what it's doing, but you can still see that it's in blind rage. Um, is that the end of your turn, Tricky Bob? Do you have any other actions, bonus actions? Moving no, that's power, that's me. No? Okay, Gimbal. Hmm. Um, yeah, just swinging. Hmm. Hold it. Uh, nineteen to hit Hits. for ugh, five damage. Okay, and... Gimbal, you smack it to pieces, and finally, yes! it is dead. <laughs> good. And then I, yeah, move like the wind still, and head towards the exit. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, at this point, you guys can freely make it to the stairs. Yay. Um, da, 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 da. You get the impression oh, that there are other tree blights around the sides, that they're sort of angry and moving, but they don't seem to move more than a few feet before they give up and they stop. And you manage to get to the stairs and clamber up the stairs it's quite a lot of work because these stairs are designed for giants not for people mm. um but there is a bit of rubble around which you were able to oh. use to to bridge the steps um and you clamber up back up to where unglamour is frozen before huh. you far up above um your goliath warriors wave down to you from the stairs <laughs> <laughs> who are those guys uh, a couple of twats. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Um, they're, they're, they're just minders, right. babysitters. So, Hank, Tricky Bob, Gimbal, you guys can make insight checks against Josiah's. Uh, what's it going to be, Josiah? And... Josiah, can you make a persuasion check? Certainly. No, very good at persuasion. Same. Slice of 20. Right. So if anyone can get a 20, yep. you can clearly see that Josiah is a bit confused. Seven. Yeah, no. 17. Nah. Mm, no. Hardly even hardly even register what he said. <laughs> right. Mm. Uh, got a three. None of us really paying attention. I just, I just chalk him up to being weird now. Yeah, mm. he is a bit weird. That's fair. Yeah, we're, we're, not, really, we're not really focusing on this. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, we'll institute we'll you know institutionalize them when we get back to society uh, what you drinking there james uh the tiny but mighty um hazy yeah good one that's very good very very, very good, very good. Price very point's horrible though 19 bucks so i know awful <clears throat> stick with the storm all there. anyway sorry carry on no worries oh yeah right all right so we're checking to see if josiah is yeah How's he going? So yeah, so he's fine. Go. Cool. He's just uh, he's squeezing his uh, his brow like you know, like you got a migraine. Mm. Blinking mm. very hard, but that's it. I take a few steps back from him. I've seen this before. <laughs> Do you feel explody? Not particularly. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. Can all right. Uh, Hank Key. Uh, oh yeah, yep, that's right. I've got this key around my. Mm -hmm. Is it around my neck? Is am I wearing it like Medusa was wearing it? Um, it's up to you. It's pretty big, big isn't though, it? right? Yeah, it was a, it was yeah. a big key. Yeah, it's, Weighty. it's yeah. Maybe, maybe. Oh, I did we put it in the bag? Of might have, might have been in the bag. Yeah, okay. maybe we put it in the bag. Let's let's say we put it in the bag. <laughs> so, key. Josiah, can you bring out the key? Oh no! <laughs> I rummage through the bag and and no, there's nothing in here. 
This bag is empty. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's my bag, Josiah. Here, pass it here. Josiah, it's oddly cold in there too. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give Gimbal the bag. Yep. Thank you for holding on to my bag. Isn't um, um, his health meant to return after we healed him that one time? Sorry, his memory, not his health. Um, yeah. I think. Out plus, of game. Plus, he... Yep. Out of game, Josiah, you have every right to recover all of your memories. I'm, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm playing it a little fast right. and loose. Right. So this is, this is up to you how you yep. want to run this. So... Yeah. So just a, a bit of uh, memory loss here and there. It's fine. Right. Relax. I know, who, to be really I know who you are. It's going to be a little bit yeah. annoying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So all in favor, we have a chat with Unglamore. I put my hand up. Mm, I don't feel we've got a good enough safety net to be able to prevent it from, um, I don't know. Well, where's Trish? Where's, where's, Tricky, um, you didn't. You, you didn't see it, but there's like there's something big flying overhead as well. I don't know if uh, anybody else saw it, but that was a yeah. tree, man. Wait, what if that no. was Snake Lady? Oh, yeah, she flies. No, right? I think it was it was it, it was like through the the roof, right? Yeah, it was That's a tree that right, descended yeah. upon us. No. No, it's not, no, no, I don't think so. That's a different thing. That's just the tree. The, the trees are nothing. The trees are just there. Yeah, the trees, okay. the trees, trees are just around us. Yeah. I will summon the snake lady and I just shout, Snake lady! Snake lady? Trish! <clears throat> She's got it. Oh, Trish. Yeah. Help! We have a question. <laughs> All right. Um, so you're standing around and you're calling out to her. Mm -hmm. um, from behind the giant. Um, statue, uh, you see this kind of yellow light sparkling, um, and it slithers out like like a serpent. And as it does, it kind of forms up into the shape of a person and begins to take form. And um, the person that you called Trish um, <laughs> appears. It was um, easier. It was the easiest way. <clears throat> I do give her a little bow. Thank you for thank you for answering. Um, my my friend here just has a question of security for if we were to speak to Unglamore, um, would would it still be safe, or would she be able to break free at that point? Is the act of, is the act of putting this key in her into a mask dooming us? Mm. She turns and she points to the back of the room behind the giant mm. and you know behind the giant is a um a kind of a matrix of chains and locks and pins right um, which you understand there is a pin there that would release all of the chains um and she okay. says which is separate from the chain the yeah, yes. yeah, I'm sorry. yeah and she says um if you were to unmuzzle her, you have only her words to fear. She's a magic caster, yeah. right? That's, that's, but like that's all fine. magic casters, she will need her hands mm -hmm. and other components to cast spells. Mm. Yep, fine. I don't See, need tricky. my hands. Yeah, you you're, you're a priest, though. I do not. I don't need my hands, do I? Can you <laughs> if we tie your hands behind your back? Can you do things? I mean... Sure, yeah, you're, you're, you're just stating when you... Are we tying Tricky up now? Fear yes, not. No. These chains restrain her magic. Good. Okay. Thank I think you. the implication is that she might be persuasive. Well, there's four of us, so she'd have Does to persuade all of us. Somatic mean body Spoken. movement? Yeah. yeah. Ah. Yeah. Somatic oh, is... Somatic. is, is, is okay. body, well, I can do movement. things that are only verbal... But they're not very impressive. Yeah, I you can, can command. Usually, yeah. yeah, you always do that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you do that with a very bossy spell or not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's plenty uh, of things. She she could cure her wounds, and she could command, and she can. I I'll assume think, she's me. But and tricky. She's not, she could do, do a lot more. Well, this tricky, is better you'd have than to do it to all of us. A yeah. cleric needs a god to. 
continue to cast magic, right? Mm-hmm. Is is the giant god still oh, present? Hasn't her god abandoned her and locked her up? No, no there's, yes. still, there's still clerics of Myanmar. No, the Myanmar. The, the, yeah. Memnor. Memnor. Yeah, but Memnor doesn't like her. Yeah, Memnor had that. her um, chain up. It's all, on the, it's all on the tapestries and whatnot. Let's, yeah, we need we to have a chat with her. And Mem- she, Memnor betrayed her. If she persuades any of us, if any of us stop, you know, start looking funny, the other person, someone else just slaps someone, hits them with a shovel. Yeah. <laughs> and it'll like said, right we out. all she, start feeling funny. She has at the to same be able time. to do it to all of us. Ah, can you do that, Tricky? Mm, are the um, yeah, well. the Goliath still around? Yeah, they're, they're on the top. Uh, they're not. They're not. Yeah. They don't like uh, next to us, right? They're just nah. on top. Yeah, they're 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 a good. Um, you know, a couple of hundred feet above you on, on one of the um, walkways. Well, Tricky, think about it this way. If we don't do this, what are our other options? Leave. And then what I do we do? Talk to her. About True. the squid. The squid. She can help with the squid. You don't know that. Maybe she likes the squid. Maybe she's pro squid. We can. F- no, this is our. Yeah, she might be pro squid, but she might be against the squid. Well, she if probably she's doesn't know about squid, squid. We squid can tell she can have it. Been there for. How long has the squid been there? Yeah, didn't we figure that 50 out? Years or something. Squids not very long. Yeah, she's been locked up here for much longer than the squid's been around, so I doubt she even knows about it. At least ten squid years. Mm. Um. So I think we talk to her. I vote talk. Let's just vote now. I vote talk. So, uh, I'd say look, I'd say we talk, but we we certainly don't unleash until we know what we're uh, doing. Yeah, we're not unleashing. Yeah, we we make another vote. We we can make another vote on the unleashing. After the mm-hmm. after the talk, you know, mm-hmm. yeah. If anything goes wrong, Tricky can say I told you so. <laughs> yep, I'm happy with that. She says it is. You get to anyway, talk to so. a real life giant, Tricky Bob. Yeah, that too. Yeah, an evil giant. Evil giant. giant. We don't Allegedly, know that. exactly. You don't know. Mm. Maybe it speaks common. That'd be nice. Isn't it only fair in a in a true trial? And this is what this is: a trial for us, oh, and a yeah. trial for her. That she gets to speak her, her case. Are we qualified to um, hold her to trial? Aren't you? Only yes. one of yeah. I think you yes, are. and I'm against it. <laughs> well, you can't make well, that decision before if, the court has if been we, If we've decided to do it, then you have to support us in doing it. A, uh, like a <laughs> this doesn't sound very, <laughs> very, to, very much like justice, tricky. Yeah, you have but, to do it without prejudice, tricky. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is a test. Doesn't sound like justice to me. Trish, what is your opinion? You seem educated. <laughs> she says, Trish, my name is up. Andariel. Oh, okay. Oh, Andariel. Andariel. I feel like Trish said two more. No, uh, uh, I think she got sick of Trish. <clears throat> she kind of moves forward um, towards you, Tricky Bob, and looks you up and down, and her sparkling guys... Um, in fact, Tricky Bob, can you make a history, a religion check, please? Oh, 21. Tricky, you can literally see the celestial nature of this creature in front of you. She is shining with holy light. Um, <clears throat> she says to you, I am unable to forge you my opinion. My opinion is not relevant here. Oh, well, he not have one. Oh, everyone has an opinion. I am merely the guardian of this place. You should have the strongest opinion then. But she doesn't know what's going on in the outside world, so that's why she would have no opinion. That is correct. Your mm-hmm. Lord Gimble is quite mm-hmm. so correct. So wise. <laughs> has anyone ever um, spoken to her before? I could not tell you. Why not? I would not know. Oh. Hmm. How many um, visitors have been to this cabin? Countless. Okay. You know, you're very good at giving us information, are you? I'm not here. Well, to give you I, I have a feeling, Tricky, this is something we have to do, you know? Would you, would you be willing to act as the interpreter then, Tricky? I guess. That's, uh, that's the only option. Pretty much. Well, I can... 
Yeah, I mean, you don't have to, Tricky. I could cast... Um, oh. I could cast Comprehend Languages, but then I can't speak to it. Actually, yeah, there's a point I can't speak to it. I kind of need to be able to speak to it too, I suppose. Mm. 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 You should cast Comprehend Languages anyway, so you can understand him, her. Uh, yeah, I'll do, it. I'll do it as a ritual, so I'll just sort of sit down by myself and cast it as a ritual so I don't use a spell slot, which I don't have anyway. <laughs> okay. So you spend ten minutes okay. casting comprehend languages. I'm gonna grab a pen. I'm yeah. gonna grab a pen, a pencil or something, whatever we have to write with, and just start scribbling notes down for Tricky Bob to say. Okay. <laughs> you, you have you have some ink and yeah. or possibly charcoal would also work and some parchment. Mm -hmm. um, okay, cool. So I'll okay. hang. On, I'm just gonna type this. These are the Tricky Bob. These are the questions I want you to ask her. This is our way of seeing if she's good or bad. Based on her responses. You see a turtle. I Googled parole questions. Why are you in prison? Parole questions. Wouldn't that be metagaming? No, well, I was gonna say the I was gonna say the backstory was that Gimbal has um back in the day when he lived with his clan when he lived with the elves, they had a system for when they'd when they'd had someone who'd been like you know, done something against the clan or had been their version of imprisoned, they would ask a series of questions and they'd test that's not that not that he no you not you haven't asked Gimbal, but anyway, that's he think this is like what his tribe usually do. <laughs> Makes sense. All right. No, I, I like it. Yeah. Damn, I was so close. This is just one oh no, the E and the O. Vanga, they usually just uh throw you in the cell for about thirty days. Give you a, a whoop on every five. Oh, you remember. <laughs> okay. what, do they, what do they do in Ankhorn, Desire? <laughs> they give you one whooping. <laughs> <laughs> and it's very, a good one. A very concentrated whooping. <laughs> a very concentrated whooping. Very public whooping. Yeah. yeah. Public they, they distill it right down to its essence. So they... <laughs> right. Massive embarrassment. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. All right. We doing this? Do we I have to go we yeah, head, up, head up to eye it. level with her? I guess. Okay, so you, you go back all the way up the stairs. Well, and... can someone stay down the bottom to do the, the lever and the pen and then... No, God, we're not unchaining her. Oh, no, is that yeah. the chain? All right, no, so we're not staying down yeah, here. Yeah. No, no, okay, no, no, no. Right. So, no, no, no. We, so we, how do we unfreeze her? We just put the thing in our mouth. Get the key to the muzzle. How do we do that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's we just... talk to her. We how, the how, heavy is, how heavy is this thing? The key? We're uh, yeah. We're talking as we're climbing. 20 pounds. Yep. Uh, two okay. birds, one mage hand. How about that? I think uh, birds, I mean. Oh yeah, yeah. I suppose I suppose Hawks more. No, no, no we're getting a we're getting a no from the we're getting a no from the DM. Mm -hmm. All right. mm -hmm. Oh, okay, all right. So oh, I didn't see that. Hang on. What about what about thingy? Uh, Rope of climbing. My bird. Your yeah, bird. It's a real bird. It's stronger. Mm. Uh, hang on. So you reckon a bird can fly with a twenty pound key around its neck? Twenty. Well, hang on. Let's well, check perhaps, the stats. So you know, my bird strength. <laughs> my bird strength is oh shit. Uh, six. What? And how does weight yeah. work? I can't remember how weight works. Remember, they have to fly and then angle yeah. and then at the same time. I, yeah, I think I mean, it's uh, <laughs> tricky flight. This, this, yeah, no. One coconut okay. between a swallow. You can make investigation checks if you want. Okay. Yeah, okay. And then I'll be happy to give you some friendly advice. 15. 15. Uh, is that a 13. Nine? I was thinking we just use the magic rope. Yeah, that's what down. I thought too. Uh, 14. 14 All right. from Hank. Magic. All right. So the, the easiest way, if you are successful, would be to go from basically the entrance to the chamber at the top of yeah. the, the whole thing, directly across to shoulder level to her using the magic rope. Yeah. That would be the easiest way that you can think of. That would bear the weight and, um, you know, if you literally didn't fuck it up, it would be pretty straightforward. If you fucked it up, is a very long fall and you could easily die. Okay. Here's what I suggest we do. We the do the rope. Give you advantage on any athletics checks. 
All right, we do the rope, but then whoever's going to go and put the key in, um, they tie a rope around their ankles, and then that we twine the rope of climbing through there so they've created a fail safe so that essentially they, they can hang, if you know what I mean. I don't get it, but yeah, sure, let's do that. <laughs> It's you seem to like, know what you're talking about. Uh, kind of like a like a harness that hooks to the rope of climbing. Yeah. So that even if you fell, you you the harness would catch you and the rope yeah. of climbing would catch you. Do yeah, we exactly. want to tie the ankle then? Because otherwise we're dangling upside down by our ankle. Why well, don't we tie got, it? Yeah, yeah. Got it. So so you imagine you're shimming along the rope like upside down. It's probably yep. the best way to do it because yeah. um once you get to the, the statue, we need your hands, right? You don't want to be like maneuvering around on your shoulders still precariously. Yeah, okay. No, that makes sense. So it sounds like you're volunteering, Gimbal. Yeah, let's go for mm-hmm. it. Yeah, it looks I like mean, it. I said, I said we. Hank's, I said, uh, Hank's mildly afraid of fights, remember? So right, I pushed, I pushed us well. to do this. Let's do it. Okay, so you throw the rope and you tell it where to go. Yep. Huh? So from the top of the thing, you've made it all the way back up the top and, and note how kindly the DM has eschewed all of the <laughs> checks to get back up there again. Thank you. Right? Um, so you get all the way back up to the top. It's it's scary and dangerous, but you follow what you did last time and you manage to get there without any major hassles. And we'll say that your Goliath help you as well. Um, you cast the rope across, and now Hank, not Hank, I'm sorry, Gimbal, you are about to make your check. Beep. Um does anyone might want to take a five to ten minute break at this point? Sure. I'm going to get good. a beer yeah, because it's past twelve o'clock. You're right, past ten thirty. I'm going to have a yeah. breakfast wine. Grab yourself <laughs> some food. Breakfast drinks, wine. Good one. Go to the bathroom. Right, whatever cool. you need to do. Ten so, minutes tops. Yeah. Yep. Cool. All right. We'll be back then. <laughs>